What's up, everybody? This is Rich from True Boy to DDC and Prepping. Use your gear, lose your gear, because if you're not using it, you might as well lose it. So today, just wanted to come on here, do a quick pocket dump, let you guys know what I got going on. So the knife that I actually have today is indeed the Hogue Deca. Uh, I was like not going to get this knife and I don't know why <laughs> I, don't, I just thought it was weird the way it was set up with the you know the jipping up here and everything but honestly this has been like an awesome knife and becoming quickly one of my favorite knives I love that stone wash down there magna cut you know all in all it's 100% made in the United States for only like $130 and I mean I didn't pay $130 I got a first responder discount so I ended up paying like $114 for it but even if I didn't pay you know the full price or the uh, discounted price it's still definitely without question worth the money so if you get a chance go to white mountain knives or wherever and uh check out the hogue deca but i do know that um white mountain still has them on sale for like uh 127 other places are bouncing them up um yeah i saw uh everydaycarry.com had a video on uh, one of their shorts and they were saying they're going for like 150 now so i'm like what i'm like uh now everybody wants to get them after you know i already got one so i'm good but uh check it out on white mountain knives they definitely got them for like 127 i just looked at it yesterday so that is a knife that i have on me today the hoga deca now i actually just got this knife the other day and i had this in my pocket for a little while um this is the uh SAK Excelsior, the Victorinox Excelsior. It's just a little small knife. Um, it's got a main blade. It's got a little uh, pen blade. Uh, I'm going to do a review of this eventually. Um, I had to go to school today, not actual like the high school that I work in, but I had to go to college and take a test for nursing. So I didn't want to carry a knife they could see, so I put this in my pocket. This is a little small knife, and I had it in my pocket for like while I was testing, and then I came home and switched back to the DECA. So it's a good knife to have when you're not supposed to have a knife. That's how I, uh, I look at that. Um, I mean, I did have the uh, EAB still, um, but this pretty much doesn't look like a knife. You know what I mean? So that's cool. So I had this with me, um, had the uh, it's 1970s Hank that uh, Old Heritage Home Homestead made for True Budget EDC. This is a super cool Hank. It's got that really bright green color on the back. Pretty cool colors on the front. I like it a lot. This is actually a really good Hank. Um, I'm selling these. I have one more left if anybody wants one. Hit me up. Let me know. Get it out there to you. Um, also have the uh, WowTech A6. Um, this thing, man, is an awesome light, right? And uh, I did a video on it to go back, check it out and uh, see the review but when i got this it was 22 bucks on sale then it went up to like 40 dollars because it's going to get another one and i'm like well i'm not paying 40 bucks and then it went back down to 22 now it's back up to 40 so i don't know what the f is going on with amazon with their prices but the wildtech a6 check it out if you can um i mean it is worth 40 bucks but i'm like i already paid 20 why would i want to pay 40 so uh i'm not going to pay that now also i have my tiki designs pouch that i'm carrying this month and uh Got some uh, little patches on there. This is the one I got from Everyday Evan. Check out Everyday Evan. Gave me the thin blue line one. And then I got the Make Peace with the Police uh, sticker there from Bluminati Ninja. So check him out too. So definitely cool uh, Brit Kit USA Shamrock. And then I already had the Fire Department Shamrock because I'm a volunteer firefighter. So I got that one. And uh, on this side, uh, there's two slots. Now, <laughs> the funny thing is, being a minimalist, I got to resist the urge to fill a pocket just because there's a pocket there, which I was going to. But I was like, you know what? I'm not. I'm carrying the SAK um, Classic SD in my pocket. So I didn't I didn't put it in there. But I could have. You know what I mean? But just because there ha there is a pocket doesn't mean you got to fill a pocket. So in this pocket, I have the... Um, wow, it was hard to get out of there. A screw pop. It's just a little screwdriver flathead and a Phillips um, and a bottle opener. This is like 10 bucks on Amazon. So if you get a chance, check it out on you know screw pop right there. Uh, then inside... I also have a Duke Cannon lip balm, tactical lip balm, bro. Um, another, I have a Gondek EDC Hank. This is one of their Hank of the Month Club ones. Um, I got a uh, waterproof uh, 3x5 pad. That's a Kiss Dough uh, stone paper one. It's got a little pen, got a clipper lighter, got some nail clippers right there. Over here, I got a little pry bar from Amazon. Um, I've showed this one before. Got a little piece of plastic it's like a bread wrap but it's like the heavier ones in case i gotta put something together um i got a coast g22 and a uh this is a whistle ferro rod from uh 
uh, what do you call it? Southern Survival. So I got that in there. And then the knife I have in here is a uh, IMP-22, I believe it is. It is the Imperial uh, Sod Buster. And funny thing about this, my wife got me this one. And I had, a, I have another one. It's in my, uh, one of my Maxpedition bags. But this one, if you look at it, is a clip. Like, they made it into a clip. Like, they just raised this up a little bit here and made it into a clip point. The other one's not a clip point. It's a drop point. And I was like, well, that's actually pretty cool. So now I have two of these. And the, the, uh, the plastic back here, because this is like some kind of Delrin or something. Um, on the other one, it's a like a, a brighter yellow. This is more of a kind of mustard yellow, I guess. So this one's a clip point with a darker handle. The other one's a drop point with a lighter handle. So it's actually pretty cool. So if anybody's noticed that, let me know because this is a newer model, I think, and that one's older. I've had that other one for a really long time. But this is just a little, you know, $10, $12 sod buster. Really awesome 7CR, but this thing comes, man, sharp as hell, and it's easy to sharpen. And in antiquity, sod busters and these peasant knives, you know, they were never sold for expensive prices. Uh, they were working knives, blue collar people knives, farmers used them, ranchers used them, people that didn't have a lot of money used them. So, so it cracks me up every time I see a $200 slip joint because that's not what the, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, it wasn't like that. If you're going to buy a knife and, you know, keep it on a pretty shelf and take nice little pictures of it, that's great. But if you want a knife that you're going to use and work with, buy one of these because these things are basically uh, the way they were made back then. You know what I mean? Except not carbon steel now, but um, if you find one in carbon, pretty much that's what it was, you know? And uh, it's a pretty solid little knife um, for the price. And like I said, this is a gift, and this is a kind of different uh, setup than the other one. But I mean, it's the exact same setup, but like the blades is a little bit different. So that is what I have on me today. Oh, and by the way, so I made chili today, and I just did this uh, review on the Lever Gear uh, Tool Card Pro. And I didn't use a can opener. I actually did use a can opener because I had to open up some diced onions or um, tomatoes and stuff. So it did work. It was just a little difficult with the initial the initial break getting it in to the can. But once you did, it worked really well. And even though this is pretty well, you know, smoothed out and chamfered really good, it was still kind of digging into your hands. So when you got to get into a can, it's going to hurt a bit, a little bit. It's not comfortable, <laughs> but after you're in, it's good. So this actually does work as a can opener. I mean, it's not going to be your first choice, obviously, if you have a can opener, but if you don't have anything and you need to open a can, this will work. So that is the thing that I noticed. So um, I did test it out today. So pretty cool. And uh, that, that's all I got for you guys. Um, I have been doing uh, shout outs and uh pretty much every video i do so my last shout out the other day was for edc for fun my man dennis uh good buddy today uh i'm going in alphabetical order even though i already did her but i'm going to do it again because the edc question mark also an e so that's uh also my good friend a she's got a lot of good, cool stuff going on uh go over to her ch uh, channel check her out at edc question mark i will link her in this video so you guys have a good one